and we're back with Let's Talk Autism. And now we're joined by Laura Scanlon, who is a program manager at Active Mind School Partnership at, of the Active Mind School Partnership at Fun and Function. Welcome to the show, Laura. Thanks for having me. It's yes. a thrill to have you here. So, uh, and w one of the qualifications, the many qualifications that you have, is that I understand that you grew up in a household with a sibling who was differently abled. Is that correct? Yes, absolutely. My younger brother David um, has uh, multiple disabilities, um, nonverbal, a uh, few uh, d developmental delay. Um, he is on the spectrum and has a lot of um, physical limitations. Okay, was that, so how did that inspire you to get into this field? You know, it just came naturally. Um, you know, I went, originally I went to school for advertising, but I kind of find myself there. Um, and, you know, I had been involved in so much volunteering and advocacy um, in, you know, his education that it was just a natural fit that I would keep on going. Well, so let's talk about fit and function. Tell us a little bit about it. I understand that they've been around for 12 years. How did this begin? So fun and function um, was started by an occupational therapist. Um, she was also a mother and her child had a, um, some sensory issues. Um, once she started looking further and further into, um, you know, what the supports that were offered, we found she found that everything was a little too clinical looking, um, not super friendly, and uh, definitely not affordable. So what the mission became was, you know, f to help other families be able to access these supports, um, make them friendly looking, uh, you know, try to normalize some of the um, products or tools and, uh, you know, at a price point that you know, isn't astronomical. So let's talk about some of the different things that they offer, because you guys have everything from fidgets to uh, sensory items. Uh, have you got anything there you can show us? I don't have anything on hand. Oh, I, um, I thought you had a whole array of things around you. I'm sorry. I just I set, no, you, no, set you up for the wrong. But, but you guys make really cool stuff. So when we talk about fidgets, like give an example of what some of the fidgets are that are socially acceptable. Sure. So some of the fidgets, um, I know that earlier you talked about Chewies. Yeah. Uh, we have an entire array, uh, you know, literally from A to Z. If you have a style, uh, all ages. Um, so that's one, one thing that we have. We offer a lot of uh, different putties. Uh, we also offer everything from spinning to, you know, maybe like a texture or a tactile. And this is going to be things that you can use in your pocket, on your desk, um, in a break room if you are at work or if you are in school. Um, so we have things like that, and it goes through all of the, we have home products. So if you have these, you know, these luscious weighted blankets that are gorgeous. Mm. Um, we also have, you know, larger items, and we create full um, fully integrated uh, environments. So that could be anything from, you know, just a small common corner uh, all the way to, you know, a large gross motor system. So you serve families and therapists and educators in the community, is that correct? Correct, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And well, so you've got some school-based programming as well. We do, yes. So we started off speaking, um, you know, specifically to families, and then we realized we need to be everywhere you know, everyone is. So we started to kind of branch off. Uh, now we're in community settings. We're in, um, you know, clinical settings. We're in uh, um, school settings. Uh, one thing that I specialize in is the school setting. So we offer, not only do we offer like cool and engaging and really, um, you know, effective products, what we think is most important is to really get that infrastructure and that to make that work for everybody. Um, so that really includes, you know, training educational staff, whether it be teacher, administration, um, paraprofessionals, whoever is in um, included in this student's day, all the way to, you know, uh, parent resources, like after school things, before school things, how do you transition from summer to, you know, summer to a new school year. So we offer um, different online trainings. Um, we offer 
um, you know, hands-on consultation to kind of, and that's where the design consultation comes in. Um, and we offer, you know, all of these free resources um, for educators and parents alike on our website. I think that's so important because yes. I think a lot of times teachers look at, at you know at these items and they go well that's really cool mm -hmm. but they don't know how to integrate it into the school right. setting right. they don't know how to allow a child to literally play with a fidget and not have all the other children around them mm -hmm. lose focus on what's happening and like it literally is a problem for them so you you are able to even go into the classroom to be able to show them how to do these things is that correct yeah Absolutely. Yep, we do. So um, I'm fortunate enough to be on uh, to be on the ground floor of all of this. So I get to go inside schools, inside classrooms, um, and really what you know what our goal is when we are in these uh, schools and classrooms is to empower not just the students and you know encourage self regulation, but it's really to empower you know um, the teachers at the or the paraprofessionals. It's we try to support everyone from, you know, the beginning of the day all the way to the end of the day. Um, and, you know, just having a base understanding, how do you introduce, you know, these tools to your students? How do you incorporate it into your curriculum? You know, how to make this stuff work not only for, you know, the user, uh, but also for the entire population of the school. Oftentimes, uh, there's a plan that's individualized. And... Once in a while, um, you know, the, the general population is, you know, also uh, is also benefiting from, you know, this layer upon layer of support and the different, um, you know, comprehensive in infrastructure. Thank you so much for saying that because I, I think it's so nice for the autism community to hear that, that, you know, it does benefit the other kids mm -hmm. in the classroom when we have these things in the mm -hmm. classroom with our kids that are there with extra support. Yes. It absolutely does. Uh, nothing incenses me more when someone insensitive says, well, I don't understand why we would have to pay for that, and my child, you know, doesn't need that, so you should pay for that, and not realizing how much their child is well, also benefit. benefiting yeah. from the things that our kids... So, Laura, where can people get a hold of you if we've got teachers who are watching who say, okay, I want a piece of this. I, I, want, uh, I want to see what these items are, and I want to see about, is it, is it a different place to go to get the, the support for the classroom than it is to buy the stuff, or is it the same website? It's the same website, and that's um, www.funandfunction.com. Okay, okay we've got it up there on the screen so everybody Fun can see it. Funandfunction.com. Well, we think it's amazing what you guys are doing. Uh, we have, have postponed three times now, but very soon we're getting ready to do a big online conference that's called Autism in the Classroom, and I'd love for Fun and Function to be a part of that. We'd love to be there. Thrilling. Great. Okay. Thanks for and, joining and us. And also want to tell people that what a great place to shop, what great stocking right. stuffers right. and things to add value to life. So holiday shopping is coming, and I uh, want to encourage people to go to funandfunction.com and get something cool for mm -hmm. everybody on your shopping list. Good. I guarantee you, the, you know, fidgets, it's one of those things where uh, you can show it to anybody, mm -hmm. and then everybody wants to play with yeah. it, right? So, Laura, thank you for being here and say hi to everybody at Fun and Function for us. Will do. Thanks again for having me. Thank, thank you. you. Bye Take bye. care. Bye-bye. Uh, I think we have, we're out of time. I we're pretty much out of time. Um, so let's talk a little talk bit about, about tomorrow. tomorrow. Tomorrow is a jam-packed show again. I'm just going down my list. We have a wonderful expert who's going to be here uh, from CARD answering questions. Um, we've got Bonnie Yates. We've already got a bunch of questions for Bonnie Yates that she's going to be here. I'm trying to think through the hour oh and then we've got um <clears throat> we're, you know we're continuing with our festival of toys right there is this amazing you know how much we loved marble runs when our kids were little yes. and it was such a great thing um for therapy so there's uh but then you know kids grow out mm -hmm. of marble runs mm -hmm. where it's no longer their thing at a certain age um but there is this fabulous award-winning toy that we're featuring on our toy guide this year it's called the turing tumble and it's touring after the scientist touring and basically what it is it's a it's a really uh a, a marble
Carnival Run on steroids, oh. but it's for older kids. It's a puzzle solving uh, marble run that teaches coding. Oh, that sounds cool. I know, and it is so much fun. So we're gonna have uh, one of the owners from that company okay. uh, who's gonna be with us. And, and then we have another toy, but I'm gonna leave it a mystery. Okay, uh, Cause I can't remember. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we've all, uh, through the next few weeks, uh, you know, pretty much every hour, we're gonna feature a toy okay. that just uh, lit my fire. Right. Because there were so many of them. Right. Such great gifts. Um, so that'll be uh, from now until mid-December. Right, good. Uh, before we get into the business of next year. All right. Uh, but thank you all for being here with us. It's been a really uh, lovely two hours with all of you. Uh, please give your, I, I, I don't know, have I got more time, Gabriel? We're, we're a little less than 30 seconds. Um, don't forget go to the website, the new website. I desperately, desperately, desperately need people to go to beta.autism-live.com and you can't just put in www, you have to do the HTTP, not S, colon, backslash, backslash. Go there, check it out, check out the toy guide, you can buy toys. And again, I wanna say this again, we don't benefit at all monetarily from the toys that you buy. It's not about that. It's about you asked for, right. we, we you at first you asked for recommendations, we gave them to you, and then you said make it easy for us, give us a link, woman, right. so that I don't have okay. to go look. So that's what it's that. about. And we did, it's there. All right. So, but check out the rest of the website too. There, okay. You have to go and look. There's I'm a, gonna, I'm gonna go a look. lovely little thing, if you, uh, there, uh, you'll see on the page, there's all these different things, but there is a place for you at the bottom that's just Nancy. You click on Nancy's okay. page and it shows you all the videos with Nancy. Nancy. Oh really? It does. Okay, I'm gonna You're have featured. to check it out. Uh, so it's fabulous. You it have to check it. it out. Yeah. All right. So uh, until tomorrow, give your kiddos a hug for me. Give yourselves a hug for me. Bye bye. Bye bye for now.